Welcome everyone. Another Sunday. Anyways, the months and days and weeks are just flying by. I don't know if they are for you, but they sure are for me. And it's just amazing how everything is just passing. The, the seasons, everything. And we're coming in, or we're in spring. And we're going to be, before you know it, another month coming into uh, summer, or a month and a half. And so exciting because I believe we have to enjoy the freedom we have right now and the weather to get out and do some amazing things because I don't know about you, but I'm bored. I've been cooped up way too long and I'm missing all of you as usual. And um, one of the things I wanted to say is I'm in the works of, or it's in the works, I'm creating a lot of content. So there'll be some changes coming in the fall. I'll be offering new um, classes that I'll be teaching, some ancient stuff, some other things. And um, I'm going to be starting to offer different uh, venues with different information coming through. And so stay tuned. Um, I'm very excited because I'm also going to be partnering with some people to do one-time uh, classes or different things and for those of you that have been asking Micah and I my friend who's the medical intuitive will also uh, be postponing that heart one we were supposed to do the energy of the heart both the physical and how everything comes together and also the esoteric secrets of the heart we will be doing that in the fall we had sent out a video explaining what we wanted to do and one of the things is that life happens, right? And so both of us have been busy moving in different directions, but we don't want to let go of this because we were very guided to do it. So look for that. We will be doing that in the fall. And many of you <clears throat> may have noticed that I am doing something that's called Friends of Brenda Edwards. And I will be sending that out every so often. I don't know exactly, you know, how often yet. But this is a way for me to help promote other people and what they do and all of that. And so if you're one of those people that own your own business and want me to do a little blurb on you that will go out, um, I'm excited about that. And so this is just a way to stay connected, to support the people that support me, and to get what everybody else does out there. So look forward to it. We are gonna be doing many different things um, where most people at my age would be winding down. I'm winding up for some reason. So I have to trust the process and just move through this. Um, I'm very excited because I will be going to Sedona in another couple weeks, and I'm so thrilled about it. This presented itself to me when I've been wanting to go there, and finally everything lined up for me to say yes. So every time I go there, for those of you that haven't been there, it's a very magical, mystical place, and... Sedona has so many vortexes and energy places that super recharge you. So I always think I'm going to rest or relax or connect with somebody and then all kinds of things open up. So spirit has me go there so I can be kind of downloaded with what the next piece of my work is. So I'm looking very forward to that and um, stay tuned. Who knows what's to follow? Okay, I'm going to jump right into the cards today. Lightworker Oracle. So what's coming for this first Sunday and first week in May? Dark Night of the Soul. That is such a great picture. I'm trying to see what's on her neck. It looks like something's holding her still on her neck. So let's see what this means. And I just did uh, in my 
in my um, email that went out with the classes for May and my little blurb to my family and friends, I did talk about the dark night. So you can go back there and look at that. All right, let's see what's going on. It says, you are ready for more real and radiant relationship with the divine. Your preconceived ideas and safe limiting beliefs may be satisfied in order for this to happen. To the divine, they are only the clothing of your spirit. It says, they are impediments to the absolute intimacy the divine seeks with you. You might feel vulnerable or uncertain at this, as this divine goes about stripping away old barriers. This is when you enter the dark night of the soul. You understand there is nothing to rely upon but the divine and you find it difficult to trust at times. This night will end. However, the sweetness of the divine drawing in your heart shall render all worthwhile. But for now, you are meant to feel exactly as you feel. You are not doing something wrong. You are moving closer to the divine. So this is really amazing. I read the short version of this, but I want to talk a little bit about this. That it's so hard when we're going through the dark night of the soul. We think that, you know, spirit has forgotten us. That everything in our life is being challenged. And underneath here, there's flames on there. And really going through a time where everything, all the drop is burning away. And what is left underneath is what's supposed to be there. We're always getting up leveled. And the more you work on your different things that you're trying to clear, your old patterns, your old beliefs, your old paradigms, more come up. It's like you're dealing with a layer and here's another layer. The next layer comes up for you to heal and then the next layer. And I have to laugh because we're always in this place of thinking, well, I've been doing this so long. Well, I've been doing it a very long time. I'm older than most of you and my stuff is still coming up. So just know dark night of the soul is coming to transform you. And we're in that now, right? With all the energies going the way they are, and all the light pouring on the planet, it has to clear up the darkness. And that is what's happening. So be with it. That is the first card of the week. So you might have more things come up this week. Don't forget the tools you've been given along the way to make things happen. You know how to protect yourself. You know how to clear yourself. Really use this time for that. Okay, Archangel Metatron. I love the color and the design of the Merkaba on here. The Merkaba is what houses the soul. Metatron, what do you want to tell us for this week? Ooh, Madonna and Mothering. It's the blue ray. And the blue ray is also the ray of truth. I feel like there's two cards from Metatron that wants to come. So let me just continue to ask. First week in May for everyone. What is it you want to tell us? Ooh. Connection and attunement. Orange. Look at the power in that. I wish I could do yoga like that and be so straight. And <laughs> okay. Let's look at what this means for us this week. First, the mothering. Okay, it says, The blue Madonna stands in her own blue ray, silent, strong, emitting the energy of calm and stillness. It does not matter what's going on around you or what needs to be done or acted upon. All that she is concerned about is to offer a resting place. I love that. It's like you just want to rest your head somewhere. And what better way to do it in the arms of the Divine Mother? She sits within our hearts, offering guidance, support, love, and to be held in her embrace. Here, there is no place for worry or stress, just peace and being at one with the wider universe. 
The star above her head reminds you of the star above your own, the divine light above you that is always lighting your way and is there for the duration of your stay on planet Earth. She is a wise teacher knowing that all answers lie within. And she reminds you of this simple fact without judgment or exasperation for all you have sought outside yourself. There is so much wisdom and insight in her heart that she sends surplus sparkling white light upward with cupped hands. Wow, I love that. Her world is a place of beauty. She has mastered her emotions and helps you to do so as well. She reminds you that everything passes, nothing is forever. Now is the moment that needs to be held. She is there holding presence every time you call on her. Her serenity and grace inspire you to live a life based on those qualities. She came from the stars, yet also lived here on this earth, following her calling without argument, in tune with the divine flow and higher plan. She has come because we are ready to hold her in our hearts, having realized that new values, that the new values that this life has to be lived by, her trust and faith. Her communication is expressed not just through her words, but her sheer presence. She draws your attention to how you show yourself to the world in all you say and do. Is this from a place of the peaceful blue ray or another tone? Allow the blue energy she carries to envelop you, reaching out into your aura as well as your physical body. It is here to strengthen, protect, nurture, and love you. Like the Divine Mother, she holds the ultimate archetype for bringing up the next generation of souls and is there for you, whatever age you are, as a gentle maternal support whenever you need her. Feel her around you now and be at peace. I love Mother Mary anyways, and that beautiful energy of support and unconditional love. Just when I call her in or if I'm channeling her, it's just that, oh, I can rest here. So I love the way they said that about resting. And that is just, once again, a beautiful, beautiful card with those hands and the star. So I think what these cards are saying so far is that, yes, you will go through the dark night this week. There's going to be more stuff coming up. And we don't know if that's individual or collective, because sometimes it's the collective, right, in the bigger picture. But we want to just, no matter what's happening, call in Mother Mary and rest in the blue ray. So um, it says, pulling this card is asking you to listen to Metatron's voice speaking directly to you here. Can you feel my joy? Can you feel my majesty? And can you feel me all around you in the simplest and most complex things? I am Archangel Metatron. I'm not a stranger to any of you. I have been around each of you since your moment of birth and will be with you till your moment of passing to whence you came. I am with you in the void between lifetimes as well. I am light. I am color. I am sound. I am universal power, love, wisdom, and illumination. There is no mystery, no complexity. It is about reaching up while you are fully grounded and present, and I will be there. Many of you are not aware that is that it is I that held it is I that held you the difficult days who pushed you to evolve and change. Sometimes you have doubted me and felt me absent, but I always have been there through good times, through hard times. I'm always there. At times when you feel me connect via the stream of the orange flame light, it flows down on anyone who asks for it and attunes and connects to me. I am already within you. The orange light reminds you of that. It's a part of you and it nourishes at all levels, your physical, your emotional, your mental and spiritual. Orange is a vibrant light made of red tones of fire, passion, raw energy, action and life force. Yet it also contains the yellow and gold of joy, fun, sunshine, alchemy and wisdom. Orange is the color of enlightenment in the ascension journey. To be surrounded by its vibration, vibration soothes your path, ignites your spiritual power, and illuminates your light. Hold your arms up to receive my light. Let it flow down your hands and arms, harnessing your healing ability and gifts. 
Let it flow into your throat so you speak with the spiritual voice of strength and truth and allow the orange light to stream through you a limitless supply. You don't need to cocoon yourself with my orange light. It is, like me, a dynamic, active energy that wants to move, create, heal, and produce results. It is always there, as I am, reminding you of your true self that can and already has moved mountains and can do so again. So there it is. And I love that because the power and the strength in this. So this week, we have uh, Mother Mary showing up and call on Metatron to move that energy. Reminds me of that place where they're redoing houses and then they say, move that bus. And we get to see what the beautiful piece that is, has been transformed. Starseed Oracle. What's up and coming for the everyone for the first week in May? Earthed, learning how to be human in the world, but not of it. Coming down in your little bubble of light. So this week, how do we navigate through everything we're going through this week? The challenge for all souls having a human experience is to be in the world, but not of it. To realize they are souls having this experience and be fully conscious to it. To have their soul fully embodied. People's personalities tend to relate to either transcendence or eminence. Those who lean toward transcendence have a longing for the heavens and the metaphysical. They yearn for a personal experience with God Benny, what are you doing? You're messing up my cards. He's sitting on my... Come here. Okay, never mind. I'm going to let go of that. Um, they yearn for a personal experience with God and to be lost in the heavens. They're envious of the angels and are more comfortable praying and hanging out in the stars than on earth. Those who tend towards eminence have attached themselves to earth and their body. They spend more time thinking about things in the physical world rather than connecting with the heavens and their own mystical inner worlds. Being a fully embodied soul, having a human experience, means finding the balance between transcendence and eminence. Uh, being in the world but not of it. Most star seeds are drawn towards transcendence because they're more comfortable with the angels and the heavens. Like on earth, oh sorry, life on earth can be more difficult for them. If this is you, you're being reminded that you chose to be a soul <laughs> in a body on earth. Don't hold it against us. And you've been called to focus more of your energies in the physical world to learn how to be human, a soul, and a human body, fully present to what life on earth has to offer. And the, the inquiry, the question here is, do you tend to long for the stars or be more in the physical? How can you find greater balance between the two? And I think that's a lifelong search that we're all trying to figure out. So just to sum everything up this week, I think I'm going to do just one more card. Let's, which ones do we want to do? Okay. Ben, you're sitting on my book. Excuse me, I need my book. <laughs> so this is Work Your Light. We'll do one more to sum up this week. What do you want to tell people, Spirit, for the first week of May? The age of light. You're being trained. You've been trained for this lifetime. You're under this beautiful pyramid of light, taking in all this energy. All right. There we go. Okay. Mystics and sages throughout the ages, and that rhymes, have predicted this period in history and you decided to incarnate in the middle of it. There's no mistake that you are supposed to be here at this great time of change. If you have ever feel unprepared or daunted by the path that is calling you, know this. You've been fully trained for lifetimes. 
You're way more than the days that have breathed through you in this life. You're also all of the lifetimes that came before. All of these experiences have polished your soul into the most magnificent expression that is your authentic self. Your soul has many facets. Imagine a fingertip, your, a fingerprint. Your soul is a million times more intricate than that. If you put together all of your fingerprints, all of the people you've been, you would not even come close to fathoming how much of a unique masterpiece you are. You came in with a clear soul plan. You came in with wisdom beyond your years. This is part of you that longs to be seen. This is part of you that is ready to step forward, that is ready to emerge. This is not the lifetime to stay hidden, but to step forth, be seen, and rise. Wow. That is fabulous. So as we look at all of these together, it sure looks like something's going to happen this week, whether it's personal or in the bigger picture, that's going to make us go within and ask for help, you know. And remember, you have free will down here. So the master teachers, guides, and angels cannot, you know, overstep that unless you ask them in. So we have Mother Mary, we have Metatron, invite them in this week. I would invite them in right now for the week that's up and coming so they can help you and be there. And remembering, it looks like we've got a big reminder with these last two cards, cards Earth and the Age of Light, that we chose to come here right now at this moment in time. This is a big one, folks, so hang on. And as I say, keep your arms in and don't get any on you. Have a great week.